frustration of the Canadians. And here we can see where it all went wrong for them. It was a drop. Despite that miscue, it wasn't all bad news for Canada's relay team, and that's why they kick off our Monday moments. It was a tough start for the men at the IAAF World Relays in the Bahamas. In the 4x100 final, second leg runner Aaron Brown and teammate Brendan Rodney mishandled the pass off, dropping the baton, and that led to a disqualification. This after Canada posted the best time in the heats. But they made up for it the next day, winning the gold medal in the 4x200 in convincing fashion. In fact, their time of 1 minute 19.43 seconds was the world's best time this season. At the Diving World Series finale in Windsor, Ontario, Canada found themselves on the podium three times. Let's start with Jennifer Abel and Melissa Citrini Beaulieu. They said their goal was to score 300 points. Well, they got that and change. 305.52, which was good enough to win the silver medal in the Synchro 3 meter springboard. It was their second Synchro medal of the World Series season. On Saturday, it was Megan Benfeto and Vincent Riendo's turn. They won Canada's second silver in as many days as they finished second in the mixed Synchro 10 meter platform. And on Sunday, Abel was back on the podium, this time with Francois Imboldulac in the mixed synchro 3 meter springboard, winning another silver medal. And sticking with diving for a second, have you ever wondered what some of those crazy diving terms actually mean? If so, you should check out Anson Henry's video with Alexander Despati. They go over it all in detail. I'll post the link at the end of this video. All right, you lost me at back. Okay, so start <laughs> over to figure skating. At the ISU World Team Trophy event in Tokyo, Canada was not able to get themselves a medal. They were fifth after day one, climbed to fourth heading into the weekend, but were not able to make up any more ground, finishing just off the podium. And sticking on the ice, round one of the Stanley Cup playoffs in the books. Five Canadian teams started, only two remain. Edmonton finished off San Jose in six games. Next up for Connor McDavid and the Oilers, a date with the Ducks. The Sens needed two tries, but eliminated the Bruins. They will take on the Rangers in round two. And the Leafs, Flames, and Habs, you're next up on the tee. As always, thanks for watching. Remember, hit that subscribe button down below if you want to see more videos just like this. We'll see you next week.